Today we're going to look at how to use Google Spreadsheets in order to collect special ed data. So the first thing you're going to need to do is log into your Google Drive account. And I'm going to click the Create button to create a new spreadsheet. A spreadsheet is just like an Excel spreadsheet. It's going to be used to collect data. It's set up in rows and columns with different cells along the way. You'll first want to rename your document by clicking on the Untitled Spreadsheet button and renaming it. I then need to have some row headers so that I can easily find and organize my information. So I'm going to use the word date, data, teacher, and notes in this circumstance. You can do all of the formatting with the centering and coloring if you'd like, but for right now all we need to do is write in our headers. The next thing you're going to need to do is start to collect your data. So you'll need to set up your spreadsheet however you're going to like to um, collect this data. Remember that if you do want to create graphs and charts, you will need to collect numerical data. So for instance, if you're tracking something that's a yes-no answer, you'll need to give it a numerical value, like 1 for yes and 0 for no. A chart will only be able to read these numerical values. So I'll put in the date for today, which is 9-25. You'll notice that it autofills with the year and other information. The nice part about a spreadsheet is that I can do some things like add in multiple dates ahead of time. Now the nice part is, is that say I track something every two days or I track something every Thursday. I could start a pattern like 925, 927, 929. I can highlight those and grab the little blue um, a dot in the corner of my selection, drag it down, and it will continue that pattern of every two days that I'm tracking. You could do that with every Thursday of a week. You just need to put the first couple Thursdays and then it will follow that pattern. The data can then be added in any numerical value. So maybe I'm going to do 80 percent accuracy. The next day maybe they had 75 percent accuracy then they got up to 90% accuracy. So I'm going to just add in some other information here just so we have some information to track. Now the nice part about this is is you can get a spreadsheet set up and ready to go for your entire quarter or semester or year by filling all of your date information in and then you'll track your data as you go. If you did use this as a shared data collection sheet you may want to input information like your last name so the people in your shared collaborative group know who's tracking the data. You can also add notes You can change row length and width by dragging on the edges of each column. So you can really format this and make it as pretty or as simple as you'd like. So what I'm going to do now is look at how to create a chart and graph based on the data that I've just put in. Now I'm eventually going to want all of this tracked. So what I did was I grabbed onto one cell, I moved my mouse around the entire section that I will eventually like to be tracked. I'm going to click the insert menu and choose chart. The nice part about Google Spreadsheets, it will automatically try to decide what's the best type of model or visual for the selection that you have chosen. So what I can do is I can do some customizing here with the information that's um, already available. Or I can click on the Charts tab and specify that I'd only like a line chart. Or I'd like a line chart with more of a curvature. Maybe I need a column chart for the type of data that I have um, gathered. You can always customize using the Customize tab and you can add things like chart title. You can change fonts. You can make the different columns and bars different colors. When you're ready though, you're going to click insert. 
it's going to insert in a graph that you can move around your document. Now you'll notice that as I continue to add more information into my spreadsheet, it will continue to update and a new bar will be added. So I'll add 75% and a new bar again will be added. So it's nice because it will be continually updating. It will always have that information for you. So this is Google Spreadsheets and just the basics. Um, if you did decide that you did want to have this as a collaborative document between your special ed team, you can use the share button and share with anybody within our district or even outside of our district if this is something that you needed to share with parents. So again, this is Google Spreadsheets for special ed data collection. If you need more information, please talk to your instructional coach.